सो हेलो वेलकम बैक टू अनदर वीडियो ऑफ ओ बी जी एस बायोलॉजी इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द मल्टीपल एलिल्स सो वॉट आर मल्टीपल एलिल्स एज वी नो दैट जीन्स डिटरमाइन टू कॉन्ट्रेस्टिंग फॉर्म्स ऑफ अ सिंगल कैरेक्टर फॉर एग्जाम्पल वी हैव सीन फॉर पी प्लान द राउंड शीट शेप and the wrinkled sheet shape are two contrasting forms of a single gene similarly tall pea plant and short pea plant are also two contrasting forms of a single gene but when a gene expresses more than two characters then we can say that the gene has more than two alleles and these alleles are called multiple alleles as there are more than two alleles present in a single gene as a result more than two characters are expressed by one gene and this situation is known as multiple allelism this multiple alleles in homologous chromosomes occupy the respective loci some classical examples of the genes which express multiple allelism are abo blood group and rh blood group of human beings the eye color of drosophila and the coat color of rabbit so now let's discuss about abo blood group of human being in details this abo blood groups arise due to the presence of an antigen on the surface of red blood cells or the rbc these antigens are produced by the gene i and one dominant allele of this gene is ia which produces antigen a which gives rise to blood group a and the another dominant allele of gene i is the ib which produces antigen b that is responsible for blood group b and the another allele is the small i or io which gives rise to the blood group o only in the homozygous condition if the allele ia present in the homozygotic condition mean ia ia then it will give rise to the blood group a similarly if ib will present in the homozygotic condition means the ib ib it will give rise to the blood group b if ia and ib will present together then it will give rise to the blood group ab but if ia and io will present together then it will give rise to the blood group a as ia is dominant over io similarly if ib and io will present together then it will give rise to the blood group b as ib is dominant over io but if io will present in the homozygotic condition or io io will give rise to the blood group o so now let us predict what will be the blood group of a child whose father is of blood group a and mother is of blood group b if both the parents are homozygotic means father have the gene as ia ia and mother has the gene as ib ib then from father we will get the two alleles ia and ia and from mother we will get the two alleles ib and ib then the checkerboard will be like this so here we can see that the all 
of the offsprings will have the blood group AB. This proves that if the parents are homozygotic and one of the parents of blood group A and another is of blood group B, then they will produce offsprings with blood group AB. But if the parents will not homozygotic, then father has the gene IAIO and mother has the gene IBIO. Then from father we will get the gametes IAIO and from mother we will get the gametes IB and IO. Then if we produce a checkerboard, then we will get this, which shows that one child will have the blood group AB. One child will have the blood group B, one child will have the blood group A and one child will have the blood group O. So here the probability of getting each blood group is equals to 1 by 4. Now let us consider the father with the blood group O and the mother with the blood group B. In the gene of mother will be IAIB and the gene of father will be IOIO. Then from I A I B we will get the gametes I A and I B. From I O I O we will get the gametes I O and I O. So from the checkerboard we can see that two child will have the blood group A and two child will have the blood group B. So there will no child will have the blood group AB or the blood group O if their parents have the blood group AB and the blood group O means one parent is of blood group AB and another one is blood group O now if the father will have the blood group B and the mother will have the blood group O then we will get the gamete IB and IO from the father and IO and IO from the mother so if we produce a checkerboard then we can find that 50% of the child will have the blood group B and 50% of the child will have the blood group O means 50% of the child will have the same character like father and 50% of the child will have the character same as mother Similarly, if one parent is of blood group A and another is of blood group O, then if the father has the gene as IAIO and mother has the gene as IOIO, then from the father we will get the gametes IA and IO and from the mother we will get the gametes IO and IO. Then 50% of the child will have the blood group A and 50% of the child will have the blood group O. Now if both the parents will have the blood group AB then from each parent we will get gametes IA and IB. Then two of their child will have the blood group AB. One child will have the blood group A and one child will have the blood group B. Now if both the parents will have the blood group O, then from each parent we will get the gamete IO and IO. Then all of their children will have the blood group O. As we know that if two IO are present together, then it is the only case when we will get the blood group O. So, I have discussed about the multiple elements and I have discussed about the ABO blood group in details. So, thank you for watching the video. Please like the video and share the video and please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon. We will meet you in the next video. Thank you.